What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode and today I'm here to talk about the top five smartphones we should expect in 2018. So without further delay, let's dive right in. Alright, so number one smartphone we should be expecting in the beginning of 2018 is definitely Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. I did make a video on all the features and rumors that we know about the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus and I'll link that down in the description below. And that's pretty much it for the beginning of 2018 from February to March. The main difference obviously is going to be dual rear cameras on the S9 Plus, 6GB of RAM and then obviously Android 8.0 Oreo and some new software features on the S9 and S9 Plus. Now number two is definitely, in my opinion, the OnePlus 6. So around late last year in November of 2017, OnePlus did release the OnePlus 5T, which has about eight gigabytes of RAM, 120 gigabytes of storage, an 18 to nine aspect ratio display, their face unlock feature, it's not as secure as Touch ID, uh, Apple ID. My bad, it's not as secure as Face ID, but it's much, much faster. And they also have a fingerprint scanner on the back of the phone, which is also very useful. Now for the OnePlus T, what do we expect? Well, obviously an 18 to 9 aspect ratio, Snapdragon 845, eight to a whopping 10 gigabytes of RAM, according to some rumors probably the same resolution display although some rumors do suggest a 2k display uh, obviously better cameras and obviously a good price tag and oneplus 6t release date not 16 my bad oneplus 6 release date probably around june of 2018 so around the summer of 2018 let's expect the oneplus 6 to be released now number three is the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and we should expect this around August to September of 2018. Now the biggest difference from the Galaxy Note 8 and the Note 9 is the rumored in-display fingerprint scanner which was unveiled in CES of 2018 a couple weeks ago actually with one of Vivo's uh, smartphones, upcoming smartphones. And we do expect that in the Galaxy Note 9. Now, a lot of rumors said that we were going to get the Note 8 and even in fact the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Fortunately, we didn't get that, so now we're expecting that in the Note 9. And obviously, the same upgrades from the S9 will carry over to the Note 9. So number four on the list is definitely Apple's new iPhone, whether it's the iPhone 11 or iPhone 9, whatever they're going to call it this year, the iPhone edition. I don't know what it's going to be called. But we're going to see the continuation of a notch. I do hope they bring Touch ID back. But with the old 2018 models, apparently Face ID is going to be the norm. There's not going to be any Touch ID at all. Obviously, we're going to see iOS 12. And I hope they they don't really need to make a redesign, a major redesign, but get rid of all those small bugs that are included in iOS 11 and uh, work on that for iOS 12. Number five. And the last one on the list is the Google Pixel 3. In my opinion, I'm the most excited for the Pixel 3. The Pixel 2 has the best camera in any smartphone, hands down, and I'm pretty sure that will continue with the Pixel 3. Now, what do we expect? The Snapdragon 845, at least 6 gigabytes of RAM, Android P, and uh, upcoming rumors suggest that Android P will support notch-like features like the iPhone 10. So it's going to have support for notches so do expect that in the Google Pixel 3 and 3 XL. And uh, I don't know if they're going to go dual cameras this time around because they were able to, you know, have the best camera on the market with just one single lens. And the one thing I do hope is that they shrink the bezels more on the Pixel 2 XL because, yes, it did have an 18 to 9 aspect ratio, but it was still pretty big. And the one thing I do hope they keep is the dual speakers. They had some pretty good dual speakers. So the norm of 2018, most Android flagships will carry the Snapdragon 845, 6 to 8 gigabytes of RAM, but OnePlus might exceed that and throw in a whopping 10 gigabytes of RAM, which is, in my opinion, overkill, I guess. I mean, 8 gigabytes of RAM is really good on a smartphone, 
it's actually overkill on a smartphone. Putting 10 gigs of RAM is just going to be absolutely insane. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to like this video, comment down below on your most anticipated smartphone for 2018, share this video, and best of all, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, everybody, this is MTG. Just letting you guys know, I have so many great videos in mind. All I have to do is film them, record them, edit them, and obviously upload them. So be sure to stick around to the channel as I do have so many great videos that are going to come by very soon to your subscription box.